Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Mini a True Nerd, and welcome back to Stupid Ideas with John, also referred to as Skyrim, because I kind of want to wrap up the vampire stuff just to make sure the flipping Dawn Guard aren't coming anymore. They're probably not, because I've cleared out the leaders, but I just want to be absolutely sure, and also I'd like to see what that other ring does, because I've been told the other rings are good, but for that I need to go to Dragonborn. But Benel can't go to Dragonborn, because he's not technically a person anymore. He's just like a corpse that, like, you know, occasionally sizzles and goes, etc. Also, you know, so yeah, there's, there's a small pile of corpses over here. Yeah, I've, I've killed I've killed a few people today. It's fine. Um, So, my plan is, kill Benel, get over to Saltsheim or whatever it's called, get to the cave, which is the far side of a DLC I've basically never played before, Get the rig and get back before Benor's corpse despawns, allowing me to bring him back from the dead. Which is all basically just a terrible idea, but I might be able to pull it off. So, things we've got to do here. We've got to clear up the companions. Uh, so, Vigilance. Time for you to head back home, boy. So, he'll make his own way back to Markov and we'll presumably... Oh, he said wine. It's very sad. Right, and when it says back home, he's literally just going to basically find his way back to Markov and have to pay 500 gold to pick him up again later. But that's okay. And as for Benor, uh, sorry about this, Benor, but you need to go down. So I will make this, like, you know, quick. Quick, there's... Who else is seeing me? Someone else is seeing me. Sorry, Benor, this might not be that. Oh, never mind. It is quite quick. Right, so that's Benor dead. Time to get going, like, right flipping now. And in we come to Saltsheim. So yeah, basically, I've tested the principle here. I can go to Saltsheim, come back, and the corpse is still there. But after a certain period of time, I don't know how much, then that corpse is going to despawn. So basically, I need to do this as fast as possible. And for that, I've got a plan. So, screw that guy and the boat and whatever. No, 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 stay away from him. Right, hang on, need to figure out exactly where I am here. So, right now, I'm down over... Here. Yeah, just kind of in the water. There's Raven Rock. Don't care about Raven Rock. That's okay. Though actually it's been it's been discovered. Yeah, it's been discovered. In fact, actually, no, I don't need to bother coming back here. I can just fast travel back to Skyrim the moment I'm done. What I need to do is basically head due north as fast as possible. So, oh bloody hell. This is quite a long way. Though hopefully not that far. Hopefully not like too far. Because, yeah, this doesn't actually feel like the biggest island of the biggest DLC. Right, first, I need to get north and away from, like, everyone. It's in this sort of direction. Right, well, screw you and screw the guy who was, like, going to come over and try and do a thing. I just need to get somewhere private for the time being. That's that's a person there. Okay, need to stay away from people as quickly as possible. Just get somewhere out to the middle of nowhere. Round here, round the outside of this whole area. This will probably do. There's a flying jellyfish. I don't like them. Right, so, plan. You know what's fast in this game? What's fast is vampire lords. So let's just quickly convert myself into one of them and then start flying because a flying vampire lord is bloody quick really bloody quick, and also gets an absolute ton of stamina, and can also just fly over the top of water, because basically screw you. Uh, so using this, I can skirt around the outside of this whole area, and then admittedly my... Okay, I'm doing this during the day. And also, don't have access to flipping potions right now. Should have done this at night, really, yes. Right, apparently, I don't actually have access to any of my actual abilities. Oh, hang on. Maybe I do. Something's happening. Also, something's happening over there. There's a... There's a something attacking a something else, but I don't know what either of the somethings are. That is a... Frost Troll! I'll be having some of you, and some of you, and some of you. Okay, so I can get my health back, but said I can't get my stamina back. Fine, so now it's... Oh, flip, I think it was dawn, not even dusk. It's even worse. Right, well, just keep on flapping. <laughs> Actually, I could go back to normal and then basically down some stamina potions and then screw you, by the way. I could go back to normal, down the stamina potions, and then vampire up again. Probably not the worst idea. What the hell are you bastards? Just, just random warthogs. Bristle bucks. Okay, well, they don't seem that tough, to be honest. Well, let's just keep on going. There's more jellyfish. Whatever they are exactly. I don't like them. 
creep me out. They genuinely do. Like, generally, I just shuddered. My skin crawls when I look at those bastards. Keep on going. Okay, this might be further than I was expecting it to be. Hold on, Benno. I'm coming as fast as I can. Right, you know what? I'm just going to clear out what the heck are you. Right, that's a that's a wood elf. Uh, also, a wood elf who knows conjuration. Right, well, screw, screw all of that. Keep going. Ignore all of this. It was just kind of summoning a little crappy thing. Apparently, no one likes vampire lords. No, not this way. Oh, there's more wood elves. Screw you. Screw you all. Screw... Wait, are you kind of... Are you fair? Oh, wait, hang on. Bristleback Cave. Bristleback Cave is where I wanted to go, wasn't it? Yes, I think it was. Right, okay. Just round here. Round here. There's, there's, there's a hunting party. There's, there's hunting parties, apparently. Right, well, this is... Oh, what's a right cling? Well... I guess these guys are right clings, and how tough are they? Uh, not tough enough, because I can basically just, yep, yeah, absorb all their health forever. Uh, the warriors are a bit tougher, mind you, but not too bad. Right, hang on, I need to... I can summon a gargoyle, right? Yeah, I can summon a gargoyle. That'd be alright. Let's get some help going on here. In fact, actually, I think I can summon... Can I summon two? And, uh, lifeblood absorbed. Ooh, these guys count as living things. What are you? What are you doing goblins? Am I just eating goblins right now? I think I might be. Right. Vampire perk progress. Diddly diddly dee. What are we doing? Oh, there's another one right there. You guys seem very flimsy, but then vampire lords are quite strong. Right. Take those guys out. Now, where am I going exactly? Because, wait, what the... Why is there a marker over there? Hang the flip on. I don't know because I can't see a cocky map. Right, well, it's definitely in here. Bristleback cave. Let's just go in here. In fact, this is way better, because this, this right here, is actually- Oh! Right, okay! That guy was- what was he even hiding in? I wasn't expecting him to pop out, so I wasn't actually paying that much attention. Uh, right, okay, hang the flip- No, I don't even have a local map, not while I'm inside, fine. Uh, so don't worry about any of that. Excuse me, did you just kill my flipping- Wow, you did as well. Uh, well, I guess we're gonna be leveling up, so now I'm going for this thing. Hello! Right, they're just- I think they just pop up. These things are weird looking. <laughs> they're very weird looking. Fortunately, they're also terrible. Uh, so I can just basically absorb all their health. And then send more stuff over here. And also send some vamp. You just... Could someone else deal with this for me? I've got so much magic as vampire. Yeah, I think they pop out of barrels. <laughs> oh, you're so comically tiny and cute and also pathetic. Uh, right, go, go, go. Lovely, thank you. Uh, need to keep... Oh, bloody hell. Right, so the problem is, there's 10 million of them. That's, that's the, excuse me, uh, gargoyle, you're kind of screwing me over here. Right, yeah, there's actually 10 million of them. That's the problem we've got here. So just now, just, actually, am I allowed to have, like, two of these at the same time? I swear I was. Uh, no, that looks like just one. Uh, well, that's okay. You just group them together. I'll start murdering them in vast numbers. And actually, this really works for me, because this spell has splash. So can hit several of them at the same time. So basically, I can pretty much out-tank everything. So if you just all want to stand together with several weak guys, I'll just be eating your souls uh, for good. So life is fine. Yeah, here comes like four or five of them. I can drain all of them at once. So good luck with all of this, because I can literally drain your life and get my life back faster than you can actually damage me. Very good. Uh, now, where the cock is the actual... I don't know where... The, well, the ring looks like it's that way. But then... The quest is going this way. So I'm assuming I need to loop... Oh, bloody hell, there's 10 bajillion of you. I've been going through this cave for like five minutes. I've killed thousands of the bastards. This area is so bloody big. This is ridiculous. And I'm just kind of basically tearing them apart. At some point, you'd think they might learn, but they're just refusing to. Also, that one's riding a boar. So, yeah, Reichling Rider. Supposedly better, but I'm just absorbing so much health from them. It just doesn't matter. It's fine I mean, I'm guessing in the base game like being crowded by all these enemies is supposed to be like, you know Advantageous to them, but on this occasion. Yeah, I'm just absorbing health like super fast So there's nothing they can do to me because I'm just getting so much health back Right, I think I might have finally bloody killed my way past enough of them here. Yep. I've made it to a chest that I can't open because vampire lords can't open chests for reasons. No, 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 no. I need to revert form, please. I'm slightly worried that this is actually pretty much... Go, go back to... There you go. I'm worried this is impossible. I'm very worried this is impossible because I literally don't actually have... There it is. Right, so 100 extra magicka 
and regenerate magicka faster. That's okay, but not exactly spectacular, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, it's it's all right, but I could probably... Actually, I probably couldn't enchant a ring quite that good. Like, even with all of my enchanting, I think I can only get, like, plus 75 magic. And it depends how fast the the regeneration that it's talking about is. Uh, please tell me there's a Skyrim door up here. That would be really bloody useful, as this has just been a massive, ridiculous labyrinth of... Whatever those things were, weird goblin creatures. Right, back outside, am I flying? Yes, I'm flying, good. Right, now it's time to- wait, hang on, no it's not. Is everything clear around here? Right, time to see if I've managed to do this in time. Uh, one, I need to- yeah, I need to revert form. So revert form quick as you like, quick as you bloody like. Because now I'm outside, what I can do is, I can fast travel straight back to Skyrim. And we see if Ben or still there. What even were you? Rightling, Bortus, Gold, Knife. I don't know what you are. Fast traveling back to Skyrim in human form. Very important. Time to see if we've actually managed to make it in time to save Benor. Hopefully. Maybe. Oh, yes. Benor is still here. We have done it. The stupid, stupid plan worked. And that means now we simply bring Benor back and everything is fine. But this potentially raises... Uh, an interesting opportunity, doesn't it? Let's just quickly... No, hang on, I need to put on my special ring. And up gets Benor again. <laughs> Don't worry, Benor, you didn't miss much. I just went on holiday and then basically flew up the side of a massive long coast and then killed like a hundred goblin creatures. Horrible, horrible goblin creatures. But it's all fine. Everything's 100% fine. So magic away. And yeah, now... I've got an idea. See, back over here with the companions, let's say for the sake of argument that rather than trying to get Ben or to follow me into the companion quest, what I did was I simply figured out where I'm about to be teleported for, like, the angry killy bit of the Silver Hand quest, and then I take Ben or there ahead of time, murder him, and then simply get fast travelled there when I actually do this. Yes, I know, I'm literally waiting for you outside the Underford. Shut up. Also, I decided to come and visit Dragon's Reach while I was just kind of, you know, trying to remember where this is. Uh, Benor's rejoined me up in Dragon's Reach. Where's the cocky girl? Where are the guards? Why is there nobody? Oh, I found somebody! Hello, Irolith! Can I just go for you? Go! Go away! Irolith, no! Bad Irolith! Oh! Irolith significantly stronger than me! <laughs> this was a mistake! I'm just gonna kill Benor right here in Whiterun, become a werewolf, and then before speaking to Ayla, fast travel back here. Basically trying to repeat the trick I just did with Dragonborn. But yeah, for some reason, in the werewolf quest, yeah, the entire universe seems determined to despawn corpses. So, Ben, oh, I'm very sorry about this. I will come back and pick you up in just a second. You see, right now, I'm definitely in a different universe. Because Benor is not here. Admittedly, everyone's not here. So maybe Whiteron isn't the safest place to keep Benor. Because, yeah, what's going on right now is basically everybody, body and living, has been stripped out of the town. With the exception of Irolith, which is just downright odd, but whatever. And if it's the same as last time, the moment I get close to the gate, I should black out. Because, yeah, they just don't want me getting out into the wider world. Though thanks to open cities, I might be able to do so anyway. So, now, let's see if I can fast travel back to Whiterun and pick him up. So, back to human. Ayla wants to chat with me, but screw Ayla, I'll be back to her in a second. Aha! Uh -huh. I've done it! I've flipping done it! Right, Benor is still here, so we can actually proceed with the companions without losing Benor! Huzzah! Right, welcome back, Benor. I'm gonna be honest, you have missed a bit again. Um, this time, um, we're vampires now. Wait, no, sorry, not vampires, the other one. Werewolves. Actually, we're both. Um, we are both, simultaneously, which is probably weird, and that probably makes me hate it. Wait, wasn't this the plot of Underworld? Actually, wait, apparently no, I'm not. Vampire form's gone from my powers. Oh, blimey. Right, I think I've just accidentally burnt the vampire out of me using werewolf. Because that's, that's just how that works. Oh, now we can't return the bloody ring. Right, so we're going to have to finish off the werewolf business so I can stop being a werewolf. Then I need to go and re-vampire. And then once I've re-vampired, at that point, I can turn in the ring and finish off the vampire. Then I can de-vampire. 
Does that mean that the Fallian quest has also gone? Because now I'm not a vampire anymore, but it was because I burnt out the vampire blood with werewolf blood. Because, well, I suppose it's answer to the question, which is stronger, vampire or werewolf? I mean, literally, it's demonstrably, scientifically werewolf. The blood is superior. Though I suppose, actually, if I wanted to, I could probably get rid of the blood of the werewolf by just going up to Serana and having her reconvert me to a vampire. But screw it! Let's play around with being a werewolf for a bit. Because <laughs> why bloody not, eh? Right, Ben Orr, off we go. We're off to murder some vampire hunters who... No, werewolf hunters who may or may not be vampires. I don't bloody know anymore. This is all very confusing. Though, actually, I think I won't make a particularly good werewolf because, yeah, there's a very important werewolf item I don't have... Because the, um, the quest where there was, like, the werewolf who killed the little girl or whatever. Yeah, basically, apparently, uh, there was a choice in that quest I didn't actually see. Because I just basically murdered the guy. So I could have got the, the special ring off. Wait, he gave me the special. Don't I have the special ring? Or maybe I gave the special ring to her. I don't know. Do I still have the special ring that lets me transform as many times as I want? I can't remember. I might do. Yeah, I just went and checked. I didn't get Hercene's ring. It's a choice between that and Savior's Hide, and I kind of accidentally chose Savior's Hide just because I went on a bit of a werewolf murder frenzy. Um, so that's a shame. That might have been useful on this occasion. So as it turns out, I can only transform, I think, once a day. I mean, tradition is like once a full moon, but no, apparently it's once a day. So, okay, I guess we'll just transform and then start murdering these bastards then. Yours was not an easy transformation, but you're still alive. So congratulations. Ah, oh, thank you very much, Ayla. It doesn't last long, though. The blood of your foes can sustain you, if you're willing to feed. Ah. The more we feed, the greater our prowess will grow. We could perhaps discover even more gifts of her scene. Okay, so what I need to do is turn into a werewolf and then start eating people, and then keep eating people, otherwise I'm going to rehumanize. Gotcha. Right, well, as Skior's already inside and we might want to chat to him, let's start off just doing this by hand. We'll clear out the couple of people outside, because yeah, there was only like one or two people outside here, like a couple of archers up top. That's fine. Hello! Why don't you try and attack me? Yeah, attack me. Keep going for it. There you go. Go. Go for it. There you go. Keep going for it. No, don't kill her! I kind of wanted to get the block up. Fine, whatever. And you. Hello! You are not very good at your job. No, you're already down on the ground. Bloody hell. la di da di da Right, there's one more up here. I think there's one in the tower, wasn't there? Or have you already run down today? Hello? No. I think that person's already dead today. That's fine, then. Yeah, once I'm inside, and once we've had a chat with Skior, then potentially I'll werewolf up, and we'll have a little go at all of this. So I'd like to see what the... No, hang on. There is someone up top. Not anymore, there's not, though. I think she might have just shot him with a bow or something. So, here we go. Werewolf hunters, etc., etc., etc. And... Look at this. Cowards must have locked the place. I swear she was just trying to say something there. And then she got distracted and ran outside. Right, this seems like enough for me to potentially become a werewolf. But, yeah. If Ben... Oh, there she is. She's bloody caught up again. Right, so, beast up. And Ben or apparently doesn't approve, mainly because I'm growing fur through my armour, which is, quite frankly, a bit weird, yes. Right, so now down we go, down we go, down we go. And presumably there's going to be people to eat in here. Hello! Right, so I'm going to be... Oh! Ooh, blimey! Well, that's a bit on the violent side. Also, I don't know the fact that I don't look much like a, you know, a, a puppy. I look more like a rat, which is kind of weird. Also, I don't have that much health. I'm possibly doing this at a higher level than the game's anticipating. Right, I need to... Okay, this is this is quite tricky, actually, because I've got very little health to play with. Um, I need to... I need to get around the back of this guy so I can feed. I need to feed. I need to feed. Let me feed. 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 And get on this person. Slappy, 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 slap. Did I just get Ayla? No, I didn't. Right. Yeah, I've got basically no health. I've run out of that already. Um, I've killed a few people, but I'm not ready to do anything. Do I have health regen? I feel like I really need health regen right now. Also, there's oh. There's a dead one, isn't there? Thought so. Yeah, that's that's just someone. No, I need you to get out of the way. I need you to get Ayla. Ayla, I need you to get out of the way. Otherwise, I'm going to de werewolf. Also, I can't. Can you not heal at all as a werewolf? Like, I'm still at 55. Am I just stuck at 55? 
Is that just how we are now? That's, that's barred. Uh, yeah, I think I'm, am I generally not healing? Like, I would have thought werewolves had, like, you know, regeneration. That kind of feels like the point to me, but apparently not. Also, where's, where's Benor? Did I accidentally, oh, wait, hang on. If I feed, ah, bloodlust extended. Fine, so I need to take them down, then I need to feed while they're on the ground. That's how I get that. Lovely. So, um, oh, I'm literally eating their hearts. Also, where's Benor? Is Benor not, not here at the minute? Because Benor's supposed to be here. Yeah, Bloodlust Extended. Did I accidentally eat Benor? I don't think I accidentally ate Benor. Benor? Where's... Oh. Can I feed on Benor and then bring him back? Well, I'll give it a go. So, Benor, I've now consumed Benor's heart. To extend my bloodlust, and now for the rest of time, a part of Benor will always be inside me. Right, so, that's how I get my health back as a werewolf. I need to not just kill, I need to actually, like, eat the corpse after we're done. Fine, well let's crack on then, and later, I'll come back and see if I can raise Benor! The answer is hopefully yes. Uh, and also I could do with some more- Oh, hello, are you just a- just a random skeever. Just, I, I'm having trouble with a rat. Ayla, I need help. Also, I just ran into a trap which I didn't see and now I'm in trouble again. <laughs> Ayla, I'm not a good werewolf. Help me. Also, would you mind going into werewolf form? That'd be bloody useful if you'd like to do that. Also, now I think they're just repeatedly getting hit by the trap too. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm just going to feed on this person. Just a quick feed. This is, yeah, this is genuinely, oh, werewolf perk available. Good, but any chance can I like heal up when I take a perk? Because that'd be great. Yeah, best deal strand. I'll have some of that. No, I'm not healing up at all. Well, on the plus side, my claws are a bit stronger. So that'll be good, right? Oh, bloody hell. This is, yeah, slightly... Honestly, I'm not enjoying being a werewolf and having none of my healing or anything. Also, I've just noted that when you're in a werewolf form and you hit the button that would normally turn you into a werewolf, I just do that. I don't really know what that is, it's just a bit of a werewolf roar, but it's a bit odd, whatever it is. I mean, I've just gone in for another go, and I genuinely feel like I'm just massively weaker than the enemies I'm taking on right now. I just feel hugely underpowered, possibly because, like, I'm a really high level compared to what the game's expecting me to be. But, like, every time I'm going in, I'm just feeling, yeah, way too weak. It just feels like they can kill me much more effectively than I can kill them, just with day-to-day -day weapons. I mean, even one-on-one, -on -one, just one-on-one. -on -one, I've got no, I've got no ability to block or anything, and I've got no regeneration. Just a single, yeah, just a single random silver hand is just killing me. Yeah, I'm not feeling being a werewolf, to be honest. I like the fact that I can run super fast, but other than that, it's not really working for me. Right, well, I've eaten Benor's heart, now I'm just going to wait a few hours, because logically, the game was pretty clear that after a certain period of time, I'll just stop being a, a werewolf. There we go. And now I'm back to how I want to be. So now if I try and werewolf again, presumably I can't, right? Yep, power's going to be used once a day. So until tomorrow, I can't become a werewolf again. And quite frankly, that's good news, because being a werewolf is its kind of terrible. <laughs> You know, they were selling it pretty big during the ceremony. Oh, how could this be a curse when it gives us such overwhelming power? No, you've you've made me weaker. You've made me significantly weaker than I am day to day. This is completely useless. Also, okay, so, Benor, who now doesn't have a heart because I've literally eaten it out of his chest. He can be brought back! Oh, Benor, you magnificent tin man bastard. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you've missed some more stuff, by the way. This time I literally ate your heart out of your chest just to see if I could. You see, the thing is, as a human, I can summon monsters from hell and perform illusion magic that converts everyone into, you know, my unwilling slaves. And also, I'm incredibly powerful in general. You know, I can just run up to people with flipping uncharged weapons and just, yeah, completely knacker them. Yeah, look at that. I've got way more... I swear I've got way more defense thanks to my armor than I have just day-to-day -day normally. No, screw you. And just go and go and just, yeah, go for a block. Just go for the block, why don't you? Yeah, light armor going up. Nice. 
And I can use potions. My block's sneaking up too. In fact, actually, you know, this is probably a good time for that sort of thing. I'm just going to basically heal up while also blocking. So you just attack me, please. There we go. Just go for it. Keep going. There we are. Oh, now someone else is shooting him. No, no, no. I was, I was having fun practicing my block. Attack, you bastard. I'll block for you, Ben. Oh, I can't because he's not going for me. So never mind. Also, there's more of them down here. Oh, hello. How about you go for me? Go for me. Go for... Go for me! Why is no one interested in going for me? I mean, this is working in one way, which is there seems to be... Oh, hello, are you... Oh, no, you're dead. No, that's a dead werewolf, and... Nothing we can do... do oh, we can do something here, though. Oh, hello, we got someone over there. Hello, silver hand, silver hand, silver... I missed with my spell, sorry. Right, now I'll kill you, and you just look at this. Like, you are being knackered by my basic weaponry so much faster. I mean, maybe werewolves are better at lower levels. Maybe they're much, much better at lower levels, but it just feels like, yeah, in this current form, they're kind of bad, actually. Uh, so we've got another silver hand right there, and just, oh yeah, my enchanted weapons that are good quality are just doing so much more. And just quickly, because I think she's been soul trapped as well. Do I need to top up anything? Oh, go on then. I'll top up Dragon Bane as I'm about to actually get a new thing filled up. So someone finish her off. It was me. Now, a couple of these bastards dead. But I swear I saw... Yeah. Hello. You're alive. You're a werewolf brute. You okay? I mean, you're going to be cool if I let you out. Right, door open. Me and you... No, me and him were not cool, as it turns out. Well, unfortunately, werewolves are terrible, so screw you. And go. There you go. I'll have your soul. I wonder if it's a human soul, technically. Ooh, I don't know. What a good question. Right, down the corridor. Now, I saw a lot of stuff going on around here. In fact, actually, I'm going to switch off Ice Form to Orwis because I saw a load of red moving a second ago. So, wait. I haven't consumed the heart. I have not consumed any hearts, but apparently I have. Right, looks like there's a bunch of people in the next room. Uh, let's get some illusion magic ready to go, because illusion magic is kind of funny. So, no. Charge it together, please. There we go. Around here, around here, around here, around here. And boom. And now just close the door. And now just basically... No, don't go in! Let them all attack each other! It'll be funnier! Right, okay, go up there. And... Okay, where's where's the rest of them? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try and hit all of them. Boom! And then... I missed with everything! Right, just block. Why don't you get some hits in on me? Because I'm actually, yeah, very happy to take some knocks. And then just also whack you a bit. Yeah, let's just weaken you so I can finish you off if need be. And then you are... Oh, you're almost dead. That's fine. How about I just... I'm going to shield you to death. Can I shield you to death? Can I do da- oh, I can't do damage fast enough. Boo. Oh, never mind. I guess I'll just kill you then. Right. Two of them affected by frenzy up there. Let's just keep them fighting each other because that's just kind of funny. There we are. That's a good hit. Do we actually have an objective right now, by the way? Because I think we were just told, hey, let's go in. Ooh. A dead Imperial. This is intriguing. Ayla. Do you have anything to say about the fact there's a human here? Was she a werewolf? Do we have any way of of checking? This is all very interesting. Why would there be a human here? Oh, I just backtracked for a second. Because, yeah, I didn't check this room at the back of the hall. I just cleared out. A master locked fancy chest. Intriguing. And though I've managed to get my lock picking up and level up, the actual contents turned out to be... Well... Okay, to be honest. I mean, yeah, mayhem is okay normally, except, yeah, level 24. If you don't happen to have all the illusion perks, that's kind of terrible. Actually, I assume, do illusion scrolls get affected by illusion perks saying, hey, this type of spell now leads to higher level characters being affected? Oh, I don't know. Because, yeah, if you don't have the perks, that's useless. Or if the perks don't work, that's useless at this point anyway. If you don't have the perks, just do the spell. Because then you get your illusion up rather than it just... Yeah, that was terrible and not worth it. But on the plus side, at least I finally got a bloody perk. Because it feels like it's been a long time since I've leveled up. Also, I want more Magicka. I feel like I'm occasionally a bit low on the old Magicka. Now. Now, 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 now. This blocking business that I've actually been quite flipping enjoying. 
So I could say blocking with the shield reduces incoming magicka damage, but I feel like I'm okay, and that leads ultimately into, yeah, move faster with shield raised. I can probably do without them. People were saying quick reflexes was good. Time slowing down while you're blocking during enemy's power attack, basically meaning, yeah, it's much harder to get hit by power attacks. Go on then, I'll give that a flipping go, that seems fun, and then we can go into bashing, just because bashing seems hilarious, though admittedly, bashing for me is not exactly the best thing in the world, because I'm a bit lacking in the old stamina, to be honest, so I can't exactly bash that much, and bashing, <laughs> even doing five times more damage, it feels like it doesn't do that much, though actually there is that special shield that has extra damage when bashing, possibly if you were to combine deadly bash with that, that would just be kind of a hilarious way to murder everyone. We're getting close now, be careful. Their leader is a tricky one. Oh, right. The Skinner. A leader. Right, that's fine. I'll just head in and pretend my name is Chalmers and we can have some comical misunderstandings about steamed clams. Right, open the door. But actually, if there's four of them in the room already, I've got a plan. Prepare. Open. Boom. Right, close. Didn't say that that didn't work. And now they're all going for each other. And now, yep, they're all definitely going for each other now. So now, boom. And now we can just hit all of them with frenzy. And everyone will now go for everyone else. And the situation can just quietly resolve itself. No, no, no. Let's, let's stay at the back here. Let's stay at the back here and just keep these guys. I think actually Krev the Skinner has now killed everyone. <laughs> Yep, he's actually cleared out, I think, the rest of the room for us. Marvellous. Now, if he's actually as badass as they're implying, plan. I've got... Oh, he's not that good. I went over to the Ebony Sword, because the Ebony Sword does have the benefit of, yeah, the paralysis. Uh, it was my replacement for Chill Rend. Um... As it turns out, you may have been overselling his badassness. If I was a werewolf right now, I agree this would be impossible because werewolves suck. But it's fine. I'm a vampire. Actually, I'm not technically anymore. Oh, what the blood? <laughs> the hell was that? Uh, yeah, I think his animation for being knocked back by Benor interfered with his animation uh, for actually being paralyzed. And he sort of freaked out. Hello, Ayla. Let's have a chat about this. Because I imagine you want to talk now, right? Ayla? Bastards. Somehow they managed to kill Skior. He was one of the strongest we had. But numbers can overwhelm. Uh... He should not have come without a shield brother. Get out of here. I'm going to make sure we got the last of them. And see if there's any information to be gotten from the bodies. You and I have work to do. The Silver Hand will tremble at our sight. Would you like me to, like, bring him back from the dead? Because that's actually a thing I can do. Also, yeah, any chance you happen to know where we're going next? Good that you're so eager. I've caught wind that one of the brighter Silver Hand has been sniffing around the rift. If you can sneak into their camp and steal her plans, we'll have the advantage. Oh, go on then. Why not? Stealing plans. There's Skior. Any chance he's... Ooh. He's got special stuff on him. Special wolf armor. I mean, it's terrible. And there's no reason I'd want it for anything. But it exists. And from the looks of the map, yeah, Trevor's Watch is actually in a bit of the world I haven't really explored very thoroughly at all. Close by to... Ah! Close by to the ruins of Behauft, where I have indeed been before. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff here that feels like I just haven't really been to. So, that feels like a fun thing to potentially kick off with next time, ladies and gentlemen. As Benor, Benor who now doesn't have a heart, but he loves me anyway. I, I know, when I look in his eyes, I know he loves me, even now he literally does not have a heart anymore, because that's fine. Love is located in the brain, rather than the heart, or something, something deep message to end this episode on. And on that note, we will pick things up very, very soon indeed. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. This has been Skyrim. Thank you very much, and goodbye. I've created a small problem in my road system, which is uh, it's literally impossible for anyone to ever go back into town. And this building shall be where we produce our zebras. And this much taller building next door is naturally where we produce the giraffes. Does anyone remember how the road system went? I think it was something like this.